Hi guys and gals, I'm John and I'd like to talk to you about an FX Mark II air rifle in 22 caliber. When you look at YouTube, there's probably five or six people in the world that are dedicated to making YouTube videos about FX. Um, there's another three or four that do surveys and reviews on a myriad of their rifles. Through my life, I shot small bore and archery at an Olympic standard, and I now live in Southeast Asia. And I bought the FX because you can quickly convert it to other calibers, and it's quite inexpensive. And I owned many FX when I was in Australia. I'm now in Southeast Asia, and if you look at our, our channel, you'll realise which country we're in. The currency is part, that might tell you where we are. We only have one dealer for FX in this country. And uh, I bought the gun and I immediately had gas leaks. Uh, and I didn't buy it from the dealer. I bought it privately actually. It was, um, it had fired 90 shots or between 90 and 100 shots. It didn't suit the guy that bought it because this is a very sophisticated air rifle and it's, it's not for the ill-informed or the amateur. Almost everything on it is adjustable, uh, particularly power, velocity and developed joules. But I, I got the air rifle and it took me almost two months before the dealer said I could send it to him and get the seals replaced. And I thought, that's a bit long. And uh, just prior to sending it to him, I sent an, F, an email to FX in America. And I've got to tell you, FX threw me under the bus. They wanted nothing to do with me. They said, go back to your dealer who was slow, inconsistent, Sounds like he's helpful, but I mean, everything happens in a lifetime that I don't have left. He also saw me uh, a 7,000 bar power pellet, which will one day fit into this position. Sadly, the probe on the power pellet won't fit into the power block. It goes in and search for about an inch and then stops where the uh, machining for the air cavities are machined out of the probe. So I presume there's a fault in that machining and there's something catching and just holding it, but it, it simply can't be put in. Now I've waited more than a month now for an answer on that. And the dealer says he's waiting on an answer from FX in Sweden, which means this will go on for a few months. Uh, longer. So this has taught me a huge lesson. Uh, I believe the best air rifle in the world, bar none, is the FX because it allows you to change calibers, uh, use different pellet weights, it can shoot slugs. I mean you can adapt it to do anything you want. You only need to own one rifle and buy the adaptable kits that you can very quickly and easily put in to do other things with it. At my age, I'm, I'm happy to just shoot 22 at targets. So I no longer have that competitive urge to own 100 guns anymore. But as much as I know, it is the finest air rifle in the world bar none, I wouldn't buy it, knowing what I know now and living where I am because FX, as a consumer, they want nothing to do with you at all. So now I've got my gun that, where I've had the O-rings replaced and there's a vent on the right hand side and it started leaking high pressure air there. 
So I know the regulator behind the trigger is now leaking air. And uh, you have to buy NR, NR70 O-rings. They're a special breed of O-rings, which are quite hard to require. Uh, there's probably seven O-rings in total, I think up to about a quarter inch in diameter, some are probably 316. Uh, and the only way you seem to be able to acquire them is from the US for 50 or 60 bucks for these tiny little O-rings, or, or the dealer wants 3,000. And instead of 1,200 baht, which is the price on the net, he wants 3,000 for a full set. You've got to buy a full set of O-rings uh, I'm currently for searching for a shop that will just sell what I want. I wouldn't dare send an email to FX because I'd just get thrown under the bus, they'd say talk to the dealer. But knowing how bad and irresponsible the service is, if, if you don't live where you know you're going to get good service and responsible part supplies, find something find something where you know you're going to get service. I mean, air arms make a fabulous air rifle. I mean, I've had air arms. Um, I've actually had a Chinese air rifle that shot as well as the FX, but it wasn't so hot on long range. But if you, if you live in a country where you're not guaranteed of service and parts, never, ever, ever buy an FX because you're going to have an air gun that you're going to use for three or four weeks of the year because the other 11 months is going to be caught up in the pursuit of buying parts for a dollar that you simply can't get and, and the dealer doesn't really want to help you. So there's a wonderful piece of machinery. I recommend it highly but I would be, if I was buying an air rifle now I would look for an air rifle where I could, it shot as well as the FX or, or nigh close to it, but where I was confirmed to be able to get service and parts. Uh, an FX in this country wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. I mean, you'll find it to be the most stupid decision of your life. Greatest gun in the world, but the worst decision to buy here. Thanks guys.